The, Houston the kickers Cougars. got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Baylor's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch and a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Kill, kill, kill! Three, nine, nine. three shift, shift. two, twenty. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. Watch 14, watch 14. Looks like we got man made. Easy. Gets it out quickly. He's got an opening, and he's level at the 28-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Out of bounds, around the 26-yard line. The play fake, good for only a couple. Finds his receiver who's all alone. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Hey, 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 Mike 50, Mike 50, Mike 50. Touchdown, Baylor. He makes the PAT. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he is drilled the 38-yard line. Throws this one away. Let's go! Ready, five! That's a great tackle. It's the 36 yard line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third and 12, ball on the 36. He goes downtown. Can't haul it in. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. 
The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Baylor is up seven. Nice run there. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's tackled around the 48 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. Jump! Jump! They'll bring him down at the 45. No game. That makes it second and seven. Makes it to the 42-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Baylor can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks up. And he got it. Line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Red two, green two. First down grab by the receiver. Down he goes, around the 40-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver. Right down at about the 43-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Slings it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Baylor holds a field goal lead. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. complete he's got room to work he's pushed out of bounds around the 49 yard line 
first down. Hey, here we go. Hey, hey kill, 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 kill. Yellow three. Yeah. Yellow three. In on the pressure, and he fumbles the football. Defense has it. It's the linebacker to the 20, the 10. Touchdown. A big play. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out. So it's a play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. It's a game of 13 on the play. Pick it up, guys. First down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Go, hey, kill, 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 kill. That's seven red. SOS, SOS. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Number four makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll make it 39. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. 14-10, Cougar. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Houston holds a four-point lead. He wants it all. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He scores. What a play. He makes his second touchdown grab of the game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Second and eight. Hey, we gotta get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. Check, check, check. Motion, motion, motion. Go, go, go. Go, go. 
Taken down in the backfield. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That brings us fourth and 15. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Here's a receiver screen. Ball's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Going long. And he scores! Touchdown! And he converts the extra point. and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Here he goes. Tackle around the 35-yard line. That's a deep 10 that makes it first and ten. Easy, easy, Flair, seven, Flair, six, and he tackles him hard at the thirty. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Second and fifteen, ball on the thirty-yard line. Tries to scramble, but he's sad. Makes the catch and look out, and he hits him hard at the 39. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Booming kick. The Cougars are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Let's go! And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up 36. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. 
Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out right around the 22-yard line. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second and six. Ball on the 46. He's taken down at the 46. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Dog four! Steps up and goes down. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Check for us, check for us, check for us. Hey, check back, check back, Mike six, Mike six. Black five, black five. And he's gonna be sacked, another sack. If they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. out of bounds around the 46 yard line that's good for a game of 14 yards that'll make it fourth and 10. in a perfect world he knocks this kick down inside the 10. gets it away wait a minute he's gonna throw throws it into coverage and it's intercepted and he's tackled at the 24. We've got it first and 10. Ball on the 24. He's looking for six. Missed him. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second and 10. Completely stopped immediately. Houston's going to take their first time out of the hat. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Ready. 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 Slings it to his fullback, and they make the stop at the 16-yard line. That's a game on the play. Fourth down. It's up, and they tack on three points. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Nice run there. So we've played two quarters. The Cougars in front, 31-10.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn, offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seemed. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked. But there's also the other side of the equation, too, and we talk about it all the time. Da-da-da, da-da-da. You want to make top ten plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big Sports Center play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's okay to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look ten times better than they should be. You don't have to make Sports Center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Great concentration to haul it in. He's tackled at the 27 yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 38. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 41. Makes it to the 44. Tailback's got it, and down he goes at the 27. With the catch. Number six with the tackle at the 27 yard line. That, that makes it first and 10. ten. Oh, double, double, double. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 19. 
call it a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Running back, 25, 25. I got it. Dog four. Hit. Run, 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 run. Okay. They're running it. First down. Like six. Like six. Kill, kill, kill. Five, 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 five. Green, green six, nine. Green nine. Run, 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 run. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Hey, you don't want to see it. Easy, easy, Flare! And now he's got room to run. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. So they're going to go for it here. Black five, black two. And he's level at the four. We're about set to start things up again. has it it's one of the corners and he's tackled around the 11 yard line and that one's recovered by the cornerback funny because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls they're more worried about interceptions There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Out of bounds, had about the five-yard line. Game of six yards. That would make it second and four. He's scared. Check, check, check. Green, nine. Dancer, dancer. That's the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst. Tackle right around the two yard line. Tackle made at the two. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's going to try and scramble. They're not done yet. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 11-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 31-17. Baylor lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. They'll make 
the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Houston's in front by 14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. That makes it first and ten. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Got some open field. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Check back. Red kill, kill, kill. Green 15. Yellow 3. SOS, SOS. Yellow 3. SOS, SOS. He's taken down around the 39 yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. Him hard at the 31. Call it a gain of three yards. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Red two. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Slings it. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. They make the stop at the 23 yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and two. Mike six. Mike six. Ready to kill. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. Less than three minutes in the game. Stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That brings in second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. the middle and he's stuck. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they convert the first down on that run. And the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. 
That's a great tackle at the 45. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. The Bears, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Gets out to around the 45. For a loss. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. From midfield, second down. Under a minute left in the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. And this play is number eight on the drive. This one's in the books. The Cougars come out on top, 31-17. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.